I have a question about goal setting, mm -hmm. like how to set goals. Uh, and there has been lots of uh, like talking about, okay, let's focus on the outcome, let's focus on the process. Uh, in your opinion, what's the best way to go about goal setting? Okay. So with uh, with goal setting, like it, <laughs> there hasn't been I haven't heard any talk about goal setting myself on the forum. Actually, I found it on the forum. Okay, what well, well, be specific about it. what did it say or what was it getting yeah. getting to? Like uh, some guys focus more on the outcome. Like, you know, I want to get this and this within this period of time. Okay. Uh, some guys focus on the process rather mm -hmm. than the outcome. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Well. Uh, okay, okay. So, what's your goal? What goal are you setting? What's your the process of setting my goals? I haven't. Yeah, no, so what do you want to get out of this? A, a relationship, a dates, one night stands? For example, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, all right. So, if like if that's the case, pretty much anything that we want to do in this uh, in this game is to get girls, right? In this this context that we're talking about. So, if you want to get dates, you've got to realize that if the, you've got to realize first how good pickup works, right? So watch that Natural Instincts Method video. Bling! Um, <laughs> link here. Yeah, yeah, you know, get some popcorn, get a hot cup of tea, and just think of my nice Australian voice being all tough and shit. Um, and know, know how the game is played properly. Realize that in yourself, you want to be a man of influence. The, the goal that girls see, a girl's ultimate motivation, therefore their goal, is to be aroused, have fun. Girls just want to have fun. Girls just like drama, etc. All that shit is pretty basic. That's cool. So therefore, what you want to do, the goal that I set for myself, because I want to get laid, have dates, have one night stands, just the same as you, is I want to have an immaculately consistent positive baseline vibe. So any time that I want, I can just go amp up the fun, amp up the physicality, amp up the seduction, but I never dip below that. I never feel tired or stressed or frustrated. So the way to, the, the ultimate goals in pickup I would say in terms of goal setting, and I'll, I'll put this on the forum actually, this is a good one. The goal that you should set is to be relaxed 100% of the time. Relaxed, unwound. If you're not relaxed, um, you know, shake it out, ballistic, you know, physiological movement, chilling out, speak to some people, get the uh, get the, the traffic outside of your head, not inside of your head by talking. Tactile interaction as well is really good for, uh, for getting outside of your head and being relaxed. A great way to meet the goal of uh, immaculate relaxation is uh, uh, managing expectations. I manage my expectations, like I mentioned earlier in the seminar, that it's impossible to get laid from a one night stand. And because I tell you what, if I go out and I think, I'm in Calgary, this is much easier than the fucking bitches in Australia. Insert meme here. Meanwhile in Australia, bing, back, right? Do you guys see the meme on the uh, the last article that I did? That, that, did you see that photo of the girls pissing? That's going in every article forever from now on. Um, I never want to get into a shitty mood because I know that, that from experience, and I have to learn this, and I can transfer this to guys watching this video, that it's it's essentially a, not a numbers game, but I never ever ever know where my next result's going to come from, and it doesn't. It depends on the girl's mood on the night, her logistics on that night, her what she's doing the next day, how her friends are feeling. You never know when that opportunity to get a good result, the date, the sex, the one I sound, whatever. You never know where that's going to come from. So I need to be prepared or ready to realize that potential at any any chance that I get. So what I do is I just keep it real. I realize that it's not likely to get a one night stand, but it is likely to have a shitload of good interactions. And from that, I'm gonna have value. I'm gonna inspire girls. And I'm already an attractive type of guy because you know I've got hygiene and, and you know I believe in myself. No big deal, that's pretty easy to achieve. Um, and it's gonna happen, okay? If, if for example, I get like last minute resistance five nights in a row, I, get, I fucking get angry, right? But that's very unlikely for me. And for anyone else, is pulling, you know, not consecutive nights, but, you know, he gets five or six in a row. It's just kind of annoying when bad luck pans out. So I'm like, hey, Alex, it's fate. People have free will. You can't control them. It's not your fault. Keep it real, and the result will come the next day or the day after or the next approach that you do during the day. I, <laughs> It can be kind of disheartening when things just don't quite work out a couple of times in a row. Um, 
fair enough, that can piss you off. But you want to just go, whatever, fuck it. And I remind myself in my goal setting to keep my, uh, my relaxation immaculate that even if I'm not getting laid or getting the dates, I'm surrounded by these like beautiful, beautiful women who are dressed beautifully, who are fun and exciting and uh, reactive to me and giggling and cute and they smell nice and they look pretty. Life is pretty fucking good. And I've got to remind myself of that because as we accelerate in the game and we get better at engaging a lot of people, having a lot of fun and getting a lot of attraction, attraction is easy to get, but results are a whole other thing later on. You need a bit of, bit of luck logistical know-how, uh, a few things to work out for you kind of thing. Um, so, so that, that's what I, that's my first goal that I always set. <clears throat> the other goal that I always set um, in terms of getting results is uh, to, I set the goal to inspire results. No, inspire inspirational results not manipulational results okay here's the terminology I want I, I said I want to become in I want to inspire people to want to hang out with me and to want to comply with my invitations for after parties dates or intimacy or taking me and following me by the hand as opposed to using any kind of manipulation uh, game tactics or ideas or techniques to try to get them to do what I want calling into question their own willpower okay so the goal that I set is can I have a shitload of fun from my relaxed, monopolized, in control state of feeling, can I then talk to people, make some jokes, connect with people so they feel in on the jokes, saying things like I understand how you feel, this is really cool, oh, I get where you're coming from, oh you, I see the cool things about your job, I see the cool things about your lifestyle, I see the retarded things about your lifestyle as well. Um, and then I know that just like a peacock, you know, the peacock with the brightest feathers and the best mood is going to draw the mates, you know, the other, the members of the opposite sex towards him. And once I notice which girl is in a position to, you know, do something more than just be friends, then I take her by the hand, then I, I put some time into that interaction. And then the goal, you know, more often than not, that goal is going to work itself out. But the goal that I set is to be inspirational as a terminology for my results and that means all the effort is put into myself as opposed to zero effort put into other people around me which is just it's a, uh, a bucket with an empty hole as they say so relaxation and inspire people to hang out with you of course requires a very very solid knowledge of game especially the fact that all of you got to realize that your your primary motivation as a guy is good influence which is to make other people have a good time that's then going to cause girls to be aroused by you realize that girls number one motivation in life is to be aroused themselves so if you are the source of arousal and they like arousal you're probably going to inspire them you never know when that's going to happen so manage your expectations and then you will get results you never know when or where or how how consistently the quality what Whatever, you know, manage your expectations that you can get girls who are four star girls, okay, pretty consistently. That's reasonable, especially if you're not living in Hollywood or Las Vegas or, you know, Finland. If you're living in Finland and you're born a Finnish chode, then do it because I want to live in Disney Angel Land with you. Because meanwhile in Australia, blah, back, girls pissing in the gutter. So <laughs> I'm going to never get be deported from my own country for this. Although maybe Australian guys will make me the king. I don't know. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> so that's the way you manage it. And that's when the results come. And that's what has worked for me and the guys who I've seen who are absolutely the best, like Sean from the Perth crew, uh, in the game at the moment. So does that, does that answer your, yeah. yeah, for goal setting? If you play for the outcome, then you sabotage the moment, okay? Because if you're playing for the outcome, if you're playing for getting laid or whatever, then you're going to compromise uh, the way that you work on yourself and set that goal to have your own fun in order to bring people into it and inspire them, the, the goal that I set. And then that fucks up your immaculate relaxation because if you're anything less than relaxed, lighthearted, positive and easygoing, you're gonna set off a bad vibe that's gonna make you unattractive and, and girls not interested in engaging you, okay? Really, really easy to have every single person you ever meet in a bar engage you if logistics don't miss hit at the time of approach because of like the, the space that you're in or the movement that you're making. Um, that's easy enough if you're a relaxed guy who stays in set four times uh, and you can approach, re-approach the set four times. Um, 
but yeah, so that's that's the uh, the way that I want to answer that question and the goals that I want you guys to set, the things that you need to focus on uh, when you're in the bar. Really good question, and I'm glad that it relates. This is like the lead, really is the leading edge of the future of pickup or just your life, really. Let that one be a relief. I don't know if that's going to make emotional sense to you right away. That fear that you're not enough, when you stop and look at it, you realize that that's the thing that continues to drive you to be better. I don't know. Nah, fuck this. I've had enough of this. I've had enough of fucking life. Get the fuck, everyone, get over the concerns of status and get fucking busy with giving good feelings. Then I'll keep working. People do not 